so let's try to solve some uh, congruences. And one of the concept uh, is the linear congruences. So in uh, if we you have an expression or a congruence which is of the form of a of a times x is congruent to b mod m and at the same time uh, m belongs to the set of positive integers and a b both of them they are integers and at the same time x over here is a variable then we say that this congruence is a linear congruence and anything any value of x any value of x that that satisfies this congruence is the solution of this congruence now by any value of x uh, which is called as the solution of the congruence it has to be an integer so it has to be an integer so this in itself has to be an integer now let's discuss the concept of uh, inverse in the congruence uh, that has a mod that has a mod expression and uh, if you are given a mod m and you have to find the inverse you have to find the inverse of this then it has to satisfy the following criteria which is a inverse which uh, which has this bar or it bar symbol over it times a is congruent to 1 mod m so any value of any value that satisfies this condition will be the inverse uh, of a mod m now let's take an example let's say we have to find the inverse of uh, we have to find the inverse of 3 mod 7 So in this case, what we'll do is, uh, this is A and this is M. We'll try to find uh, the value of A complement or A inverse that satisfies this criteria. So uh, since we know the value of A, we know the value of M, therefore this, will, this uh, expression can be written as A complement is unknown. So, or a, a inverse is unknown. This will be t a inverse times 3 is congruent to 1 mod 7. So, any value or any value that satisfies this criteria will be the inverse. So, if you have a look at 5, so if we replace a inverse with complement with uh, the value of 5 this will become 5 times 3 and let's check whether it's congruent to 1 mod 7 let's check that so we know this is equal to 15 and if you divide 15 by 7 this will be 7 times 2 and this will give us 14 and we'll have a remainder of 1. So this does uh, fulfill this condition. Therefore, 5 is the inverse of 5 is the inverse of 3 mod 7.